No, I'm not going to do that. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm fine. I'm perfectly normal. <laughs> it's the first time for everything, isn't it? There's a first time for everything. So what are we looking at now? Enlargement with a negative scale factor. That sounded very easy. Bon <laughs> uh, yeah, so enlargement with a negative scale factor. Ah, oh, I just noticed this uh, 1.5. Is that why you wanted me to do it? Yes. Ah, oh, you chief. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> All right, let's have a look. On the grid, enlarge the triangle by the scale factor minus a half, centre zero two. Uh, so first thing, if we're doing an enlargement, whether it will be positive or negative, decimal or integer, uh, mark the center. Yes. Yeah? yes. So let's mark the center of enlargement. So zero, two, I'm going to put across there. Hold on. And then done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone's got a different way. Should I go through? Yes, please. Can right. you? Because so, mine is a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. So whenever we do it well, whenever I do an enlargement, I always pick a point on the, the shape that I'm going to enlarge. And I normally pick the closest one. So I'm going to pick that point over here. And I think because not only does the shape enlarge by, well, yeah, minus 1.5, but also the distance from the center. So I think to get from my cross, which I'm uh, messing around with here, uh, I go across by two and up by two to get to the point that I want. So I'm gonna times that distance by 1.5. So if I do two times 1.5, that's gonna be three. Uh, and then likewise, it's gonna be the same going up. So instead of going across by two and up by two, I'm gonna go across by three and up by three normally. Mm -hmm. But because this is a negative scale factor, we go in the opposite direction. So instead of going forward by three and up by three, uh, I'm going to go back by three and down by three. Ah. So this point here is now this point here. So this point over here has now become this point over here. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll do the same with all the other points. Good. So to get from, again, my center uh, to this point over here, this mm -hmm. is just going across by four. Mm -hmm. So literally, we're just going across by four. So four enlarged by a scale factor of 1.5. Is that six? Six, so one lots of four is four, and then half of four is two together makes six. So we'd normally go across by six, which will be here. Uh, but because it's negative, we're going to go back by six. So there's two, four, so this is six. So mm -hmm. this point here is now this point here. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, and I'll do the same thing with this last point over here. Uh, so to get to that point, we're going across by four and up by two. So four times 1.5, we said is six. Mm -hmm. So so we're going to go across by six and up by two. Uh, two times 1.5 is three. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go across by six and up by three normally. Mm -hmm. uh, but because it's negative, we'll do the opposite. So back by six, two, four, six. And instead of up by three, we're going to go down by three. Mm -hmm. So we go here. So there's my back by six and down by three. And then we end up here. So those are my three points. So this point here, which I've just done, is that point there. So now if I just join them together, looks a little bit messy. Because you keep fiddling with those points, that's why. I'm trying to indicate what's going on. You know, otherwise people don't know. I'm not judging, Sam, so I'm not judging. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, it's done. And you were mentioning this idea of using your lines, isn't it? Yes. Which we can still do to check. We could do, yes. Yeah? So I think you, well, do you want to draw the lines or um, yeah, you basically want to draw lines that, uh, go from, it's going to be a bit interesting, I suppose, because, um, yeah, it's just going to be a little bit interesting. Um, so you want to draw lines that connect each vertex of the That's shape, um, with the center of enlargement. So for example, this line is going to have to go through these two points. So like that. See, they don't know what you're saying when you say this line. That's why I was messing around with it, so they can see. Well, I'm dotting it as I'm saying this line, aren't I? Ooh, there's tension. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ending well, is it? Um, So you've got these two points here, so the center of enlargement and this vertex. Ah, nice. <laughs> and then this line. <laughs> so where's the parabola? <laughs> no parabola that I can see. Okay. Um, so there you go. We've got the same thing, obviously, if, um, because it's a negative scale factor, that means my shape is going to turn up somewhere on, on the other side of the um, yeah. center of enlargement. Um, and then what I do is I count. So this side is kind of two across and I multiply that. So from here on, it's kind of like the same oh, okay, okay. method. And then using that Sir as a guide. Was using, yeah. So cool. if this side is... Uh, to across, as it were. I'm going to look for um, space in between these two lines. 
So same two okay. lines okay. that has three across. But that's, I suppose, a bit more kind of like eyeball-y. Two different ways, isn't it? Two different <laughs> ways. All right. But anyway, um, 